coming back to the acquisition, we did acquire Credora Network, which is the largest DeFi rating agency, rating platform, let's call it. And the reason it matters is for rating to be created, you require data. Rating is an objective output of a formula you're going to create. And then you can also give a subjective opinion on top of that. For example, you can give something an A rating based on a formula. And then on top of that, you're getting, giving some descriptive information about the project or an asset or a specific DeFi strategy. The reason it's going to matter a lot for the broader DeFi ecosystem is because right now there are so many opportunities on Camino, Drift, and many other protocols that people see mainly the APR about, but they do not see the risk associated. And a rating can allow them to create a double vertical map for choosing where to allocate their money. There is a case study created by Redstone that vaults on Morpho right now, but in the future in Camino is going to have the same effect, that are rated, not only get higher acceleration pace of TVL growth by about 10 to 15%, but even more important, the TVL is more sticky. So people are less prone to migrate to another strategy because they feel comfortable about the allocation they're doing in a specific one. So in the future, you can imagine three opportunities, one yielding six, another eight, another 10, one having C, the other one B and the other one A rating. And then depending what kind of user you are, if you do care about risk, you'd probably go about the A if you're risk averse. But in our opinion, majority of people are going to go with the higher rate grading. Why? Because for C, the alternative are meme coins or perps, which is probably yielding higher yield and having, let's say, some sort of similar risk. So it's important because in TradFi, this is something that is very standard and sometimes even required by law to have a rated product before a bigger financial institution can interact with a specific strategy.